All right, guys, so we are here on the farm, and it's, what is it? Uh, I'm recording this on Tuesday. It'll be Wednesday when I post it, and Thursday is going to be, I believe that, I guess I don't know the exact date. We have the guys in here. When, when is the official end of the, of the tournament? Everything has to be in. It'll be Thursday. Thursday at what time, or kind of just doesn't matter? Um, midnight. Midnight? Yes. Okay. All right, sounds good. So we have midnight till Thursday. So what? We're looking at, um, I guess almost almost two days, right? I don't know. I can't process that. So yeah, all the way till midnight to uh to Thursday. So we're finishing up corn here. We got soybeans done here. Finishing up wheat and then a little bit of wheat right here and corn. Corn. Corn prices are actually really really good right now. They're uh sitting right at eight eighty at the restaurant. So we're gonna go head over there before the prices drop too quick. Hopefully we can get a few loads in there and then yeah guys we're sitting at 2.6 million dollars we have sold all of our livestock you guys saw that last episode i am actually right now just for fun because we're recording i am going to sell all of our cotton harvesters because we don't need them we are officially done harvesting cotton am i correct i think i am uh yep we are officially done perfect you can return the least ones as well and probably sell the animal pens actually because i already did left. Okay, good. Already did. And then, yeah, go to least. We'll just return. Return all these. So now we're sitting at $3 million. So what, what we're thinking is, you know, we're, what we're thinking, there we go, $405,000, is we're going to make, I want to say three and a half, four million dollars $4 million, especially if we, especially if price goes up. I've forgotten we should be good there. And we're going to make, again, like, we should be sitting around. I want to be sitting around nine million dollars when oh it, yeah if okay so our price here can i actually see price of the land right here value is 8.8 .8 million and the va wait val okay value over here is 1.4 million so uh 8.8 .8 and 1.4 so we're f sitting at 10.2 million dollars and we need Let's look here. Guys, I'm just trying to do some math on the fly so everybody's with us. 10.2 million, so we are going to need to be sitting at $10 million before... I guess that's just for the land. So, the land, 10.2, and then everything else needs to equal 10.1. How about that? To beat Tired Box team. So, that is the move there. Hopefully you all... Uh, are enjoying the farm series? I, I guess it's it's wrapping up here, but we're just we're just finishing up harvesting, and then we pretty much are gonna. I guess I'll probably jump in uh, the W nine hundred here, unload the combine one more time, and then go down to yeah. I'll fill this thing up, and then go sell some corn at the restaurant. So stay tuned for more. This episode will be a span of of lots of hours. I'll, I'll make lots of cuts. We're gonna get a lot of work done in this one video, and you'll probably see everything up to us selling everything so we'll probably be done harvesting at the end of this video so it's gonna be a span of uh, me recording tuesday night and then kind of wednesday as well so yeah it's gonna be a, a good episode stay tuned thank you all so much for watching let's get her done all right guys so manny's trying to get this thing situated so we have one two we have 16 bales on here that is so awesome so eight on each perfect we what we're gonna do we aren't selling but what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down to the spinnery and in pretty much while we're harvesting all these fields we're just gonna keep loading up cotton because we have i don't we should act, we'll, we'll, i guess we will count them we'll actually see how many bales came out of the harvest which is actually pretty interesting and so what we're gonna do we're gonna drum down and load the 16 uh bales at the spinnery but we aren't gonna sell them we just aren't gonna put them on this, in the sell point we'll just keep them uh off on the side so man if you want to i guess if, you could drive it if you want to um but if you uh, don't feel comfortable too, I can take you take it over. Well, so, you might want to follow me just in case I decide. I decide. I trust you. Trip, I don't feel comfortable doing it. I trust you. I'll. Uh, or you yeah, could have TJ follow. I'll me. just I'll just tap over if if you ever need anything. So I'm gonna keep the the combines running. We have wheat and corn, but yeah, guys, pretty cool load there. I guess we've we've done we've done that trip many times before, but hopefully. Hopefully Manny can do it all right. And then, yeah, corn is finishing up. I'll have to drive down that helper very shortly. And then, CJ, what are you up to? I think it was Manny wanted me to follow him okay. or something. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, perfect. No worries there. So there we are, boys. And, uh, yeah, I think 
we're gonna knock out the harvest pretty quick hopefully the harvest will take as long as cotton cotton does and then thank thanks uh thank you guys so much more and manny for jumping on and helping us out they didn't really have to but they did and it's gonna make things go a lot smoother i guess they're kind of helping out the enemy but i think wait so who manny what team were you on or were you a police officer i can't remember I was a police officer, but then I retired and just went as the manager of Shenanigans Farm. Okay. And then more was on Tired Bog's team. And then, yeah, so we're, we're pretty much only competing with Tired Bog's team because our, our field is worth more than Master's whole entire farm. So I heard that. You good? Good. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true. You know I'm coming for revenge. Revenge? How are you going <laughs> to do that? When, the term, when, the, when I start out my next term. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. I got gotcha. you. Alright, so we'll go. Uh, hopefully. Okay, of course, there's just like two rows of corn left because for some reason uh, that just didn't work out. But I'm gonna go ahead. This guy's probably just about full. Hopefully, we can beat him so we can unload on the go and like, t yeah, this last little row. I forget what you call it. What do you call the last, the outside row of, I guess, any plant? The, the what? The headland. Headland? Got you. All right. I knew there was a word for it. I knew it. So we're going to go ahead and unload here, guys. And then I do have, yeah, I do have a semi ready to go for corn. So I'm actually going to go ahead, head over to the restaurant, sell that. That's probably the move. And then, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll take this harvester down to the bottom fields and we'll have both semis on the bottom. So it'll be a little more efficient and we can keep things uh, a little closer together, easier to manage, which is always a good thing. And there we go guys wrapping up the last little bit um what were yes okay perfect there we go so what i'm thinking is we'll jump out here we'll go ahead and dismiss the worker and then bring them on down to the bottom of the field we do have a bit of wool right there and a few boxes of eggs but it's only like a thousand bucks so it's it's no worries and then corn starts on this side and then yeah things are going really good how's the drive everybody you're almost there. It's, uh, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, you guys are actually moving way faster than I thought. Bales are pretty stable, it seems, so. Yeah, no, the straps work really good. They just don't show. So the, when when you strap them in, they just, yeah, you don't see the, the typical orange strap there, which is, which helps out, um, when you do see them. But it's kind of annoying because you got to keep it in the back of your head. Like, are they strapped? Are they not? You can't trust it. It's just kind of, it's kind of difficult with that, but it's not too bad. So, CJ, what, what field did you pick from in terms of cotton bales? I sort of went to the, like, center one, mostly. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I think there's a few left. Uh, you'd have to, like, look more to find mm -hmm. the ones that are left there. So. Well, I'm just, uh, yeah, we should, uh, I was just wondering, did you, did you pick the whole entire field? Was, or were there more left in the field to finish up? I picked what I saw. There may have, if you look around, you'll find more, probably. Gotcha. So I'm just, I'm just curious to see how much is like one field actually producing and stuff. I don't know. I was just Manny, seeing if you knew that. Sell the bales. That yeah. Do not. Staying away from the cell plane. Do not drive in that, uh, in the construction Did tape. Pull up straight into that back area there. Uh, let me. And that's where we'll put them to get them come out of the way too. Yeah. Just, uh, untrap and then just carry them i get you don't even need to really drive all the way in there you can pretty much just walk them in that actually might be easier that's probably good manny leave her there oh tough I'm there we go so i'm gonna keep going uh on wheat actually this guy seems to be going pretty fast and we should be able to knock this out pretty quick I don't know what we prices are, but we need to start selling, and I'll, and we have a lot of time. I guess prices change pretty pretty quick, so it's not too big of a deal. But we just always need to keep that stuff in mind. So let's lower this down to six miles an hour. I think we accidentally just sold one. Oh, that's fine. I just won. So. Yeah, that's all right. Sold one for thirty-two k. Yeah, it's not too big a deal. Just try not to. I don't know. So that's a low price, right? They usually want. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's really low price. You guys don't even need to bring them in. I, I mean, I'm not, like, mad or anything, but just, like, uh, 
You could just set them outside, you know what I mean? Like it's, Yeah, but we're just gonna tie, yeah. I guess so. I know what you Probably. mean. You're good, you're good. No worries. These up, I just feel like these are just running out so quick. It's not even funny. Let me go and jump into the truck. We've I pretty much just been rotating, and then I'm gonna try and start loading up cotton too. I wish I had another person on, but it'll be fine too. We'll uh we'll do more off screen work too. I don't think I'll finish everything in the episode just because I need to, you know, get it posted and everything and, and edited, but we uh i think everything should be yeah should be good to go so tomorrow i think i'll probably stream it i'll probably don't don't I, i'm not promising anything but i'll probably stream tomorrow uh around this around when i usually post uh later in the afternoon like 5 6 p.m central standard time and then what i'm gonna stream is just us selling like pretty much absolutely everything we're gonna try so i'm gonna sell soybeans in this episode or at least today soybean prices are very good corn is decent uh we're looking at grin elevator east at 845 which isn't bad at all cotton is coming back up so i think tomorrow will be our cotton day that'll be very exciting that's when we're going to make most of our money and then again yeah so we have not a lot of oats we have a lot of wheat a lot of barley as well so we're gonna to have to be on the lookout for all those plenty of sunflower we're gonna make a lot of money off sunflower and soybeans this is what i'm looking forward to a decent amount of canola um but yeah hopefully we can uh again our goal is our goal is uh 20.2 million dollars and and once we sell we're gonna get 10 point like 2 million from just land alone so we just need to make the difference of that we need to we, we need to have 10 million dollars in our bank account once we sell everything besides the land and i think we're gonna be fairly close we should be sitting at six maybe six maybe when we're done selling everything all of our crops and then hopefully we get another i don't know i think we're gonna be close if I just look in my garage when we sell everything, I mean, vehicles are expensive, but like, look, the quad track's only worth um, $100,000, which is, I, I, I want to do the math. If you do maintenance or repair the vehicles, will it increase more than what you paid or paid for them to get repaired? Because look at these guys, 44K like that. That's okay. This is pretty nice. 300, but I don't know. I could run. Oh, there we go. That planner's going to be worth a lot. That's worth a lot. I don't know, guys. It's not looking too good there. I mean, there was $100,000. Uh, sheds aren't worth a lot. Farmhouse. I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be really close. Hopefully, we can pull through. Um, yeah, no. It's going to be fun, but it will be very close. So, I need to do cotton in the meantime as well while those guys are running. So, we... Uh, and, yeah. So, cotton just needs to be a really good price, too. We need, we need to make a solid $3 million off cotton. Hopefully... We probably should have planted more cotton. That that probably should have been the move, but no worries there. I didn't know Tired Bucks team was gonna have 20 20.2 million dollars. But again, we just wanna finish. It, it I mean we, we would like to win, obviously, but you know, if we didn't, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but we do wanna finish. So be on the lookout for tomorrow's episode. It's gonna be very interesting. Not downgrading today's episode. Today's episode is very fun too. We have so much going on on the farm. I'm the only one on right now, but uh earlier in the episode it was we had lots of other people on so no worries there let's go ahead keep going got two on i should probably always strap down i i always forget i need to and what is it it should stay on when i jump out hmm. i think yeah i think the cotton bales are strapped on now i, I did press l but yeah, no, there's going to be cotton bales like stacked all around here. We should be able to pull like 10 from each field, which is a solid amount. Okay, I kind of messed up on that third bale, but we should be good. We have two sitting right here. Again, I can't see. One thing about this is you can't see. Oh, there's another one off there. You can't see like too good. You can't see that far ahead. I can't remember what it was like in FS17. It's just been a while since I played the game, obviously. Um, but it just seems like when I'm looking, I guess I'm always looking for cotton bales, but it's, it's kind of hard to find them but just like when i'm in the truck here you can't really you see the circle um i wonder if there's a way to widen that obviously scrolling out doesn't help it at all there we go should probably make sure that i restrap those straps too that's pretty important so we have the two trailers which holds 16 bales you guys saw cj and the others taking them down they're at the spinner right now waiting 
and uh oh don't know oh that th that happened last time too tj couldn't get this figured out um it's like some little weird glitch with the, it's it's not even locked down too at least i don't think the the straps aren't supposed to be locked down but it never i mean there it goes finally but like it just seems like there's something weird going on back there so I need to press L once, and then another time, and they should be locked on. They seem to be, by the way. They are not rocking like the back one. All right, there's two more bales off in the distance there. So, there are bales galore. Let's keep that there, and then let's jump in our warrior. We'll load up with wheat here to keep this guy running. Wheat's going to be done quite a bit quicker than corn. We only have one corn header, but that's fine we'll we'll just keep going at our own pace so i think tomorrow's stream will be in the end of this video as well and in more off-screen work will be a lot of just driving trucks down to down to the elevator and and selling them so that's going to be a lot of the work i'm just curious what can we get our stuff to sell for you know what is it going to equal all out to that's uh that's the main thing i think i need i need to get soybeans now i don't know if these are good prices for Sunflowers, I just don't know. I don't think they are that good. I think they go a bit steeper. Um, so we're sitting at sixteen hundred. I don't know how good that is. I'm not. I mean, I'm kind of used to soybean prices, but not the best. Eight forty four for corn is actually pretty good. We're at twenty three hundred for cotton. So cotton is on the rise. I said that earlier. And then none of this looks too good, too promising. And then we're going to keep this guy running here, too. We will fill him up. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Oh, dang it. So because I ran out in that little section, he kept going. But at least we'll be able to unload on the go. That's always fun. Maybe. You guys enjoy that? I enjoy it. I think it's a lot more fun than just driving up and hanging out. All right. Let's see if we can straight away here. Get him to unload. Need to go a bit wider. I'm always... I'm not used to how... I remember doing... Uh, sugar beets and potatoes how you had to get right up close to the harvester so i'm not used to having you know to be a, a bit away but i was kind of scarred i personally yeah i'm scarred from sugar beets and potatoes that was that was not fun at all and yeah i sugar beets and potatoes never do it if if you don't have to i don't even know why we we did so much we didn't really know what we were doing either but sugar beets and potatoes are the most boring thing to harvest in the game and it takes forever to it's just terrible too much work in my opinion too much work all right there we go we are good to go we'll shut that guy off keep loading up some cotton so i wonder how many i'm curious i'm gonna pull the whole entire field at least pull whatever i see in this field and then i'm curious to see what kind of it adds up to what what did we get for yield in the field now i can't remember what stage of fertilizer we we put on this but i think this, I think we sprayed lime in this field. If we didn't, the bottom bottom one field, bottom field we did, excuse me. Uh, okay, that one's locked in too. That's weird. That one shouldn't be locked in because we're selected on the first. Oh, no, we're, we're selected on the second trailer. But I think we're going to find out pretty quick. Let's go pick up these two bales. We'll put them on the back trailer. Have four. Looking around. Okay, there's a, there's a bale over there as well. And again, we could have missed some that were back further that we just, they didn't pop up. We weren't close enough. So that's always, I, I'm always fearful that we're going to leave like a bale or two in the field. And you know, that's like $60,000. That's a lot of money to hold truck of, you know, like soybeans. So we need to be careful. Okay. So that's on there. We'll grab this little guy. And then I'm going to, I'm gonna, I got to make sure I got the straps figured out. Biggest thing, don't want this to fall. It already is enough work just putting it on. And I would never, if you, if you can download mods, I would never, when you're doing cotton, the most annoying thing would be to use the in-game trailers. Due to the fact that they only hold two and that is like super annoying to like the, and they're like a hundred K each. Like if you can get, you know, just a PJ trailer, it's so nice and you don't have to worry about it. Oh my goodness. It's. Yeah, there was no way I was going to use those in-game trailers. They hold literally two bales. The little red one holds one. Like, that's not... I guess if you're doing... I wouldn't even do cotton if I was just doing that, you know, small amount. Because the trailers are $100,000. That's not... And you can only use it for cotton, too. So, it's not... I guess the red trailer is... We used it as a utility trailer at first, so... 
That was actually funny. I remember Squad's first video, the thumbnail. He was camping with it. And it's like, that's a cotton trailer. But he used it as a utility trailer just because there weren't any mods out yet. So, yeah, you could use your imagination and do that with it. All right. This is where we make our living. Is it on there or not? I mean, I let me run up here and just test real quick. Okay. That is good. That seems to be good as well. Are there any other bales? Okay, I don't think there's any more that way. So we're going to head back down this way. We have a total of 10 bales on right now, which is looking really good. Yeah, this is... Uh, you cannot turn sharp once we are starting to get the second layer on. That's the biggest thing. Do not turn sharp. I will... Uh, yeah, we, that'll just not be good at all. I should probably drive down the middle so that we don't miss any bales. There's one, two, hopefully more pop up here. Three. There should be a few more. So how many more can we get? We can put a total of six on here. Hopefully we can pull another six from the field. There we are. Come on, baby. There we go. Then I do need to, so biggest thing is you always need to, when you add a new bale on, you need to restrap. Super important. Okay, there's actually going to be four here that I see, and there should be some more on the end too. I think we're going to have, we might even have more than 16, which I'm very happy with. There we are. So I think uh, if we can get the bales to be what I want them to be, okay, just... I guess I'll kind of reposition this, but we should be able to make, what is it, $60,000, you know, like per bale at the max, you know, 60,000 times, you know, 16 is like 800K. If I could get that, you know, okay, we actually aren't going to make that much off cotton, but hopefully we can get, you know, 2 million, 2.5 million. That's my goal. Guys, actually, right now, I'm, I'm thinking we are not going to beat Tired Box Team. I don't think it's going to be possible. I actually have no idea, but I think we're going to be short. 22 million. That came out of nowhere. I had no clue, but I, I knew that they bought some fields, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're cheating. Maybe they're doing something. I can't accuse them, but who knows? Maybe they're doing something bad like that. Oh, that's in a different field. We'll keep that over there. I think we have three more to fill this trailer. It's getting heavy. I'm totally feeling it on the dodge. I know our, our our hired workers are just sitting there. I should probably take care of that. That's just costing us extra money. But I'm not really going to worry about it. There we go. There's two there. I think there's one on the end. I can't remember. There we go. So we have room for three. We'll grab these two real quick. Yeah, not too much more work. I mean, obviously, we have to harvest uh, those two other fields, but it, they're fairly small fields. Won't take more than an hour at most. And then we're pretty much ready for full-on selling to be done. I am actually... I don't know how far I'm going to get in this episode. I'll try and take a load of soybeans down just because they're good prices. I want to make sure I get a few sales in. I want to run some calculations on, like, how many loads I'm going to be able to take down, all that stuff. How much? How many soybeans are we going to... You know sell and get so i think we'll be close to tired bog and then i need to i need to run it so in the comment section guys let me know so what i'm what i was trying to explain earlier is you saw how it was like forty four thousand dollars for a hundred k for the for the quad track which i bought for six hundred thousand dollars not too good of a return on investment there obviously they depreciate but that's pretty crazy and then so i'm wondering if i repair them how much will their value increase obviously i'll run this um i'll do this just to like double check because it only costs like two grand to repair them but just let me know if you guys have any information on that what is the best strategy for increasing the value of your vehicles through repair is there any way that i can do that i just thought i would ask if anybody knows let me know i'll make sure to heart your comment respond to you i like to respond to people who give valuable information all right, here's number 16. I, I think there was one more left in the field, but pretty much 16 from a field that is not bad at all. 
and they're all strapped on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. A bit more work. It'll mostly be done off camera, I'm thinking. So hopefully you all did enjoy. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. It was exciting. Super excited to uh, to wrap up the tournament and see kind of where we place. And I'll be streaming tomorrow, maybe. All right, see you guys then.